massive efforts would need to be supported by forensic audits and consultancies to be aware accordingly approved by cabinet. The whole situation is drawn to the recently concluded PMCR Congress. Congratulations are evidently in order for the newly elected and re elected executive to the office bill. In the company, the challenges for the PNC are leadership, was seen by cabinet as complex. Particularly in terms of what he addressed. The highly visible risk among the very left. And two, in examining, perhaps even re examining, the basis of the engagement with the executive. This is our. Alone, as a device of Katya, or in conjunction with his junior partner, the AFC in the joint opposition. The other contributions, the PNCR contributions, either alone or as part of the joint. Parliamentary opposition. And as we know, the one historically since 2011, the parliament, one of what cabinet has described as confrontation, anti national development. And unpatriotic behavior. And it is cabinet contention that these areas remain ripe for the reassessment and a review, at least by the new leadership. The decision of President Ramadan is substantively upon the stability of the director of prison and Mr. C. Gordon as the deputy director of prisons. The board holds acting appointments. Was the decision to appoint a police legal advisor and the decision that was made to support former Justice of Appeal, Clark Singh, as the police legal advisor. Diplomatic language. Cabinet of 
glasses are made of the government's intervention that actually the impeachment of the land. I think our emphasis is on the act, the impeachment of the act. And more than the act and its impeachment has been what is taking place, the tendency of developing there is a legitimate evidence that this spectrum of unauthorized illegal behavior is actually accelerated. And that's why I mentioned forensic audits and consultancy being strengthened by the cabinet into the mixtures. To deal with different societies and crops that balance how to control the people. Many times, state agencies, many times, state agencies have also been the subject of some concerns. And the ways in which they have become party to the disposal of the assets of these different societies. And that is where the government's attention now is even further. Because you're dealing in addition with the districts, you're dealing with state agencies. Whose actions sometimes leave or the crew doubt. The biggest mind is our minds about the awareness of the provisions in the act that deals with the money. The second question is pretty straightforward. I think it is quite fair for us to say. That the director of public prosecutions indeed advises the police is responsible for advising the police, but there continues to be a significant element of Police work, police investigations, police prosecution that warrants almost the day to day, the physical access, day to day, of their own legal advisor. What former justice of appeal, licensing office. The Vietnam Task Force is access to quality legal advice right at their doorstep, right there, 24 hours, seven days a week. And I believe that it is a welcome addition in the assets that the police force throws into the struggle and then spread in the end. Um, well, I, I guess I could be quoted. My understanding was it was a problem with the EVAL committee, uh, EVAL committee that apparently was not properly constituted according to the rules and regulations that govern the composition of the EVAL evaluation committee. It's 
Thank you. 